What's up, what's up, my 4.6% female viewers? It's Real Touch Gmail here bringing you guys another Game Maker tutorial. And today, what we're going to be doing is making a level system. So, say you, you pass level 1, now you go on to level 2. And you couldn't get to level 2 before because it was locked because you need to get past level 1. That, that type of stuff. So, what I did here is I went ahead and created a simple sprite. And just 1, 2, and 3. And this is going to be what you click to go on to the next level. So you click this, that'll be level one you go to, level two, level three. So if I go ahead and create a new object here, I'm gonna call it O level system and make that the sprite there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my room. And since I had three image indexes, I'm just gonna do one, two, three. There we go. Now what we're gonna be using in this tutorial here is creation codes now if you don't know about creation codes you can go ahead and click that link in the description and it will bring you right to my latest video that was talking about it creation codes and how to use them properly if you don't do that this tutorial will not make sense okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the create event here and I'm gonna say image speed equals zero right off the bat now I am also going to create a switch statement if you don't know what a switch statement is, it's pretty easy. You type in switch, you put in the variable you want, so I'll say level. And then use case. And whatever number comes after this, or whatever string, or whatever, is going to be if that level, which we put in right here, equals the case. So I'm going to say 0. And after each case, you have to put in a break statement that is required. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this, paste it two more times, so one, two, and then here I'm just going to say image index equals zero, image index equals one, image index equals two. Now again, if you did not watch or don't understand creation codes, this will not make sense. Because right now what you're saying is, we don't have a level variable. Well, what we do is we go into the room here, and we right click, and we say creation code. And I'm going to say level equals zero. Creation code for the other one, level equals one. Creation code for the other one, level equals two. So now if we ran the game, as you can see, it now says 1, 2, and 3. So they are now ID'd. So if we go into our object here and we say mouse left pressed, actually, no, we won't do that now. What we're going to do real quick is we're going to create a new object and I'm going to call this OBJ or uh, O data or data, however you say that. And this is going to hold all of the data for our game. So just in the create event, I'm going to set a variable, global.level equals 1. Or I'm going to say level unlocked. So right now, we only have level unlocked t equal 1. So we go back into our level system here, and we go mouse left pressed. We will say another switch statement, level. case 0 and this will be if level equals 1 so we're gonna say if global dot level unlocked is greater than or equal to 1 we can just do why is that all the way over there show message level 1 yeah, level one. So right here you would put room go to whatever, but we're not gonna do that because it's just easier for me to show. And then we're gonna say else show message level not unlocked. There we go. So now I'm just gonna copy this, paste it two more times, so one and two. Now we're just going to add this up to 3. I'll say level 2 and level 3. 
And with our da with our data here, I'm just going to say key pressed space global dot level unlocked plus equals one. Now I'm going to explain this a little bit further, but let's just go ahead and put the O data in the room there. We need to add our break statement. Sorry about that. And right there, there we go. So now we'll play it. Level one, level two, not unlocked. Level three, not unlocked. Press space, level one, level two, level not unlocked. We press space again, now level three is unlocked. All of the levels are now unlocked. So, if, okay, I know this is kind of, for demonstration purposes and a tutorial purpose, obviously this is not how you would have it in the game. You couldn't just press space. So what you do is, instead of the space here, you would have it so that at the end of the level when you reach the final goal, which would be a door, a flag, anything really, once you reach the end of the level, all you have to do is put in this code here, global.levelunlocked plus equals one and then bring it go uh, go back to the menu here and what you're gonna wanna do is if you're switching rooms a lot only put the O data in the room on the first room and hit the persistent key this means this object will never go away so whether you change rooms a hundred times or a million times it will stay there you don't need to put new data in the room every single every single room you won't have to put in a new object data because that would cause some problems <clears throat> so hit that persistent and it even says right here whether the object is persist persistent between rooms so it will never lose this value of level unlocked once it's been changed so that's basically it go and leave a like go and subscribe and yeah I guess I will see you guys next time I'm gonna give a real quick shout out to my boy boss let's play check him out in the description and he does some games and stuff like that. So, yeah, go leave a like, go and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Peace.